All right. It's just going to be a mysterious set of hands today. Um, we ordered a batch of chicks from mypetchicken.com. I have used them, so uh, this is the third time now. Um, unfortunately, a um, couple of our last batch didn't make it. Uh, not anything uh, from the chickens being taken care of poorly by my pet chicken. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our chicken's area door got blown open in a heavy thunderstorm and uh, we didn't catch it until the next morning, unfortunately, in uh, five out of my six hens. Uh, we're taken by something. Not sure what yet, but uh, otherwise their area is very secure as long as uh, I'm not dumb and remember to go check everything, uh, even during thunderstorms. Um, but this is my third batch of chicks from my pet chicken. Uh, I have not had a fatality uh, on arrival. Um, <clears throat> So all mine have arrived alive. Uh, one of the really nice things I like about them is uh, you can order, uh, I believe, as few as one chick uh, or uh, two, <clears throat> up to as many as you want. Uh, they will sex them uh, so you know that you're getting hens if that's all you want. Uh, if you want a rooster, they'll get you a rooster. Uh, you know, the chicks themselves average about $4 each. Um, and uh, they will inoculate them against Merrick's uh, disease. And um, it's shipping that gets you at the nearly $40 for the post office to bring them uh, very quickly in the next day. So let's take a look. Oh my God, look at the white head on that one. Um, well, oh, he's all right. So as far as I know, I ordered two... Uh, of an Egyptian breed of chicken. They kind of grow up very tall. Uh, and then the other three were just to be a mix and match, just to replace the ones I had. I had some Easter eggers. <laughs> but uh, somebody's got a bright white dome here. Let's try to get a little better shot of the light. So they're just hopping around on each other. So I have a blue cochin uh, that survived uh, my last flock. Uh, my flock before that, uh, the majority of them are in Minnesota now with a good friend of mine. Uh, we sold our, had to put our house on the market, not had to, but chose to. And we had to move our chickens out to be able to show our house. So we did that. And uh, because it took a lot longer than we expected, uh, those that original flock has moved on to Minnesota. So there we go. I don't know what we got. This one here looks a lot like uh, the Easter Eggers I've gotten before, which is a common. Um, these could be some, uh, I don't know, some brown opening. Because these, I, my guess, would be the uh, the Egyptian ones. So we're going to check them out. They're all peeping and uh, hopping around, so they look really, really healthy, which is uh, what I would always expect from my pet chicken. Dot com. Um, they are just an awesome place to deal with. Very responsive when you have questions. Uh, keep you up to date by email once you place your order. Um, give you options if uh, to do um, substitutions if there's something they don't have. But boy, that one with the white head is just cracking me up. You might get the name Q-tip there, buddy. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys uh, into their habitat here, which is just a box courtesy of Canon Copiers for a company I work from. And uh, there's their brooder heater. And I've got to get them some food and water. Um, so we'll get them set up and uh, I'll keep you posted. Maybe in another week I'll do a video and we'll see how these guys have uh, matured. Anyway, uh, my name is John, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. Sorry I didn't show you me, but uh, I've been working around the house, and I look like a mess. Take it easy. Bye-bye, chicks.